Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is my game week 15 Premier League predictions Vlogmas day 4 um, Yeah, we'll see what happens But I did not say I would upload every day in December I would say I would try to upload every day in December oh, Sorry, I forgot to put this in Plugged in now, right Yeah, I did say I would try but I didn't commit to anything, but let's just fly through these predictions. The first match, Wolves against Burnley. Last weekend, Wolves lost to Arsenal 2-1. Burnley, they beat Sheffield United 5-0. But it was against Sheffield United. And all that being said, Sheffield United are awful. I mean, Wolves, they're good at home. With it being at the Mol Molyneux, I think you've got to go for a Wolves 2-0 win, haven't you? Wolves 2, Burnley 0. The next match, Luton Town against Arsenal. Now this match could be an absolute thrashing. Luton Town obviously um, facing... Uh, Luton Town obviously losing to Brentford 3-1. Um, Arsenal, they beat Wolves 2-1. Um, obviously, we've spoken about them just then. I mean, you've got to go for an Arsenal 4 0 win. And you've got to go for a 4 0 win for Liverpool as well. Sheffield United against Liverpool. I mean, Sheffield United 5 0 loss to Burnley. There's a manner of losing, but that is just unacceptable. Um, I mean, it looks like Paul Heckingbottom's going to get the sack. Liverpool. They narrowly scraped past Fulham 4-3. They can score goals. I think they will win 4-0. But I regret not predicting Liverpool to win by more than four goals. The next match. Fulham against Nottingham Forest. Nottingham Forest lost to us. Fulham lost to Liverpool 4-3. Wow. Um... I mean, my prediction, Fulham 2, Nottingham Forest 1. Next match, Crystal Palace against AFC Bournemouth. Now, Crystal Palace, let's talk about them first. They drew to uh, West Ham United, didn't they? One all. Um, I mean, they haven't been in the best of form, but a draw away at West Ham, supposing that, isn't that bad. Um, Bournemouth, they drew to Villa actually, didn't they? Um, I mean, Villa, Villa, Villa are really good. But um, Bournemouth, I suppose they're capable of the odd upset. But with it being at Crystal Palace, I think Palace will win. Uh, sorry, I think Palace will get a draw, one all. The next match, Brighton against Brentford. Last week, I mean, Brighton, they are back to, well, they lost, didn't they? Uh, they lost 3-2 to Chelsea. Um, I mean, it, it was narrow. Again, Brentford, they um, beat Luton Town 3-1. I mean, there's only one way you can go, and that's Brent, uh, Brighton. Brighton at home, Brighton 3, Brentford 1. Next match, Manchester United against Chelsea. Find it hard to split these two teams, if I'm being honest. Manchester United losing 1-0 to Newcastle United. Again, Chelsea um, beating Brighton 3-2. Um, United aren't convincing, but they did beat us 3-0. I mean, I can't split these two teams. I've got to go for a 2-all draw. Flying through these predictions. The next match, Villa against Manchester City. Again, I find it hard to split these two teams. I mean, last weekend, um, Villa, they, um, they drew to Bournemouth. City, they drew to Spurs, 3-all. I mean, City cannot afford to drop points 
to Aston Villa. And with Aston Villa being at home, it wouldn't at all shock me if Aston Villa do pull out a win from somewhere. But I've gone with a safe option. Aston Villa 1, Manchester City 2. The next match, Everton against Newcastle United. Everton beating Nottingham Forest 1-0. Newcastle United beating Manchester United 1-0. I mean, mm, it's at Goodison Park. I find it hard to split these two teams again. And I've gone for a one-all draw again. The final match, Tottenham against West Ham United. And it's another London derby. Last weekend, Tottenham, they drew to Manchester City 3 all. Wow, what a game. West Ham United, they um, drew to Crystal Palace one all. I mean, I find it hard to split these two teams as well, but I've gone for a winner. Safe option, Tottenham Hotspur 2, West Ham United 1. Anyway, thank you all for watching. I will try and upload some videos later on this week. Um, I'll speak to you all tomorrow.